The story starts with a woman named Helen who has been running with a terrified face. When she reached to the road her father jumped from the roof of the building and falls right beside her. She was frightened by this. Helen runs to the road and accidentally hit by a car. Then we see Helen in the hospital. Helen wakes from coma and sees her husband Greg Talay came to talk to her. She get news that it has been a year after the accident happened. Not only was she the last person to see her father alive before his suicide, but that she is also now a mother to Heidi, a child she has no memory of ever carrying. Helen was very shocked by hearing this and can't remember something before the accident. Some days later Detective Shepard came to investigate about his father. After asking some question he leaves. When they were going to their house Greg tells, that he has to sell their house for the repayment and were going to live in her father's house. Together with her husband Greg, Helen moves into the home left to her by her father. When they arrive to the house Helen gets vision about past. After some days Helen visited an old friend of his father named Frank Menzies. She asked about his father and why did he suicided. Frank says, he must has his reasons for doing this. Frank also tells about his daughter who has gone missing in 1980 and Helen resembles her. Helen looks out of the window and saw a kid's ghost. Helen's nose start bleeding. After coming to home she struggles to overcome her amnesia and attempts to remember her father's last words to her before he took his own life. But she can't remember anything. Greg goes out of the town for a conference, he says he will be back in few days. At night Helen wake up from having a bad dream. She then hears knock on the door. She goes to check, and saw a kid was hitting the door. Helen was frightened by seeing this, and goes to open the door but there was no one. Helen calls Greg and tells him that she is seeing some strange thing in the house. She goes to Detective Shepard in the morning and tell him about the strange activities. She asks if he could help her in this matter. Detective Shepard tells her that he can't give any help in this matter. Unexplainable events begin to occur in the home, Helen starts seeing shadows moving in many ghost activities. At the next day Helen invite a psychic investigator named Stuart. They try to communicate with the spirit of the dead suddenly there was a high pitched noise and Stuart start writing something like he was being possessed. When the high pitched noise stops they saw what was written on the book, there was six names. She start to investigate with this names, until now a skeptic, starts to believe that her father is offering answers to her questions from beyond the grave. But when the paranormal events turn ever more violent, Helen discovers that she is being haunted by the ghosts of children with the unique ability to inflict their pain and anguish on her. 